Do the Academy Awards exist for Hollywood to show itself off to the world? Or do they exist for the world's best films to be shown off in Hollywood? That's at the heart of the Oscars' identity crisis. A departure from the award show's straightforward purpose when the curtains first went up in 1929. In many ways, you could see the Oscars as PR, as public relations for Hollywood. It's Hollywood's kind of showcase to the world. Here are our greatest products uh, from the past 12 months, and here are our greatest stars. International directors were historically sidelined, and what little Oscars recognition was reserved for European films. But that's changed in recent years. The Korean film Parasite became the first non-English feature to win Best Picture in 2020. This year, the Japanese film Drive My Car has been nominated for Best Picture, Best International Film, Best Director, and Best Adapted Screenplay. I'm, I'm surprising. I feel it's like a dream. Lunana, a yak in the classroom, is the first film from Bhutan to be nominated for an Oscar. Streaming has enabled films from all corners of the world to break through the distribution barriers of the past, a transformation aided by pandemic theater closures. And film industry experts say the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, which puts on the Oscars, is responding to the changes. Their audience is beyond LA, it's beyond America. Their membership needs to be international, their viewership is international. And so the films that are nominated should also be international. And giving international films their due is another arm of the Oscars' urgent attempt to make the awards show more relevant to its diverse audience. Last year, more than half of newly invited members to the Academy were from outside the U.S. Another non-English film nominated in multiple categories is the Danish animated documentary Flea. It tells the true story of an Afghan refugee in Europe. You know, in the beginning, it was really just a story. I, I was curious about my friend, and then with what happened in 2015, and then now, and then in, in Afghanistan in August this, this year, you know, it's just been, it's become more, more and more sadly relevant, and at the same time, more and more meaningful to kind of travel with it and, and getting, to, getting it to the audiences. Ukraine and its war and refugee crisis will weigh heavy during Sunday's award show. It'll be a chance for Hollywood to show its support for Ukrainians, another sign of the Oscars looking outward toward the world. Heidi Jo Castro, Al Jazeera, Los Angeles.